Hi, I'm Lucas with PowerPool. Congratulations on your new charge power management system. Today I'm going to talk to you about how to connect it, configure it, and get the most out of it. So setting up your charge is kind of three steps. So first, we're going to set up our engine starting bank, then our trolling motor bank, and then lastly, we're going to download the Seamonster app and configure it. All right, so when it comes to connecting to your engine starting side, with this setup, we actually have parallel batteries. So we have two batteries that supply power to the starting side. You can see here you have a jumper that goes from negative to negative and positive to positive. And what we do is we're going to connect our main wires from the charge starting side directly to one of these batteries. All right, next we're going to connect our trolling motor side. So here we have three 12 volt batteries and we connect them with jumpers to create a 36 volt system. So the jumper goes from battery one negative to battery two positive, battery two negative to battery three positive. And now we're gonna connect our positive trolling motor wire to battery one and our ground negative to battery three. We're gonna connect our yellow data wire to negative battery one and our blue data wire to positive battery three. This is the correct configuration to get your charge working properly. Another very popular trolling motor configuration is running a single 36 volt lithium. So in this configuration, we're gonna put our red positive trolling motor wire and our two data cables, yellow and blue, directly to the positive post. And then we're gonna connect our black ground trolling motor cable directly to the negative post. Now, in case you're running two single batteries and you want to combine them through parallel, you're going to connect the jumper wire from negative to negative and positive to positive. This gives you a lot of extra power on your boat. For other 24 volt wiring configurations, refer to the installation and owner's guide. So we just downloaded the Seamonster app and now we're going to pair to the charge. So you can see here that the PowerPool charge is showing up. We're gonna to touch and hold that and drag it into my boat. You're gonna hit done at the top right. Now we're gonna hit connect. And you can see we get a new pop-up window to start the connection process. When we hit start, now we have 20 seconds to confirm the connection by pressing the orange button on the charge. Congratulations, we're now connected. All right, next we're gonna configure charge. So we're gonna select that. And here you can see that you have your cranking and your trolling motor batteries. We're gonna go into cranking first. So we can select gel, AGM, lithium. We're gonna select AGM. And now we're gonna enter the amp hours. So it's a 55 amp hour rating, but because we have two of them rigged parallel, we're gonna double that to 110. So just go in and enter 110, select done. We're gonna move on to our trolling motor batteries. So in this one, we have gel, lead acid, AGM that we can select from. We're gonna use lead acid on this one. And because they're 50 amp hours and they're, where, they're wired in series, we're gonna enter just 50. We don't triple this information. Once we have this data in, entered, we're going to click update or save. It's gonna update it and it says success, battery configuration updated. That's all we need to do to configure the charge. All right, next we're gonna look at our charge information. So here we can see our starting battery voltages and our three trolling motor voltages. You can also see where the power is being moved from. Currently it's not transferring any power. Here you have the ability to turn on your emergency start feature uh, or to change your priority slider. So the charge priority slider allows you to send power where you need it most. So maybe if you have some large electronics and a lot of live wells, you can slide that priority more towards engine. Or if you know that you're gonna be on your trolling motor a lot that day, you can slide it more towards the trolling motor and it helps prioritize where the battery power is being sent. Now that we have the charge connected and properly configured, we've got this great overview screen here. So you can see at the top left, you have your emergency start feature. So in case your motor won't crank and you need more power, it can pull the power from your trolling motor bank and help you get your engine started. So you can see your battery voltage for your starting and the three individual trolling motor batteries. In the bottom left, we have our power on off feature. So if your boat is gonna be sitting for a long time without power, it's important to turn your charge off so that it doesn't deplete the power out of your batteries by moving it where it's needed. Another way to see information about the charge is by looking at the physical unit. So we have three LEDs right here. The first one's your status LED, letting you know if it's plugged in and charging. The next one is your starting cranking battery, and then the last one is your trolling motor battery bank. So whenever these are amber, they're charging, and then once all three are green, you're good to go and fully charged. This has been a quick how-to on how to get the most out of your charge. 
Thank you for being a PowerPool customer, and we look forward to seeing you on the water.